One of the difficulties uh, when the Japanese Americans were being removed is we didn't have much uh, political leverage. We didn't have representatives uh, regarding um, our own specific community concerns. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, uh, Mr. Jeff Adachi, public defender. Let's hold our light up high so everyone can see. I'm so proud to be here with you today, tonight, standing up. You know, we all have to be public defenders now. We got to make sure that we defend our Constitution. We got to make sure that we defend our brothers and sisters who are in harm's way. We have to make sure that we defend our own humanity because that's really what's at stake in this country. It's hard to believe that it's been 75 years since 120,000 Japanese Americans, including my parents and grandparents, were removed from their homes and put in concentration camps for four years. And when the United States finally apologized for that crime, they said it would never happen again. And yet we're here. We're here defending against the same totalitarianism that was allowed to grip this country and is happening again. But there's one big difference this time. We have a resistance. And the resistance begins with each of you. In San Francisco, we ought to have a million people here. But that's okay, because we're just starting and we've got a long way to go. But the question is not only what can we say, what can we blog, what can we tell our friends, but what will we do? What will we do? Each of us can make a contribution. Right now, I'm working on a plan with community nonprofit and community law offices around the city to put together a legal army to provide representation to immigrants who will be facing e exclusion, deportation from the United States. We have to realize in 60 days when the Trump administration takes a hold of this country, he could on that day repeal DAPA and DACA and other executive orders that President Obama made possible. And the impact is going to be huge. We have over 44,000 people in San Francisco alone who are undocumented. 46% of our population here are immigrants. And when they're talking about going after this group or that group, don't kid yourself. No one will be safe. No one will have the protection of the law. And innocent people will face persecution. So when we ask, like I used to ask my parents, how could that have happened to you? How could that have happened to you just 75 years ago? Now we know. Now we realize how this could happen. Because people think it's not going to happen to me. It may happen to my neighbor, it may happen to my friend, it may happen to somebody who I've worked with or I employ, but it's not going to happen to me. And that's where all of you have to make a difference. Because we must stand together as a community, we must work together and think of creative solutions that are going to protect those who are most vulnerable. This is coming in 60 days. But you know what? We're going to be stronger for the despair that we feel right now. We're going to be stronger in fighting against any injustice. And we're going to stand together as a city, as a people, as a country, and a nation. I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you.